We all have the, that dream woman. That woman who's not only beautiful and attractive, but feminine, submissive, comes from a good family, who will help and support you and be a helpmate to you to fulfill your purpose. This is a woman who has a relationship with God, who will be an excellent wife and mother and is incredibly sexy. However, in order to actually attract your dream woman, you must be her dream man. The only way to become her dream man is through improving every aspect of your life through self-improvement. That's the only way. By building an aesthetic and muscular body, scaling your own businesses, earning more money, becoming more confident, becoming healthier, developing a deeper relationship with God, improving your mental health, looks maxing, simply improving every aspect of your life will all improve your attractiveness along with improving your abilities to be a good husband, father, protector and provider. Your dream woman is not going to be attracted to a loser who either is too fat or skinny, is broke, wastes his time every day, has nothing going on with his life, makes no progress in life. Her standards, just like yours should be, are higher than that. She will only settle down with a hero, a man who has improved himself and is still making great progress towards becoming the greatest version of himself. However, in order to dedicate yourself to self-improvement, you will have to make sacrifices along the way. To attract your dream 10 out of 10 woman, you will need to dedicate a lot of time to self-improvement and becoming better. To make this happen, I believe that it's necessary to cut out fapping, watching prawn, <laughs> hooking up and dating women. You probably will understand why you should cut out fapping because it's an absolutely useless waste of time with no benefit at all. But if you don't understand why you should cut out dating for now, it's for one reason. The woman that you are capable of hooking up with and dating is probably not the, your dream woman that you want to marry. They may be attractive and fun, but they are distracting you and taking your time, your energy and your money away from your self-improvement journey. Now, hooking up and dating women could mean that you don't improve yourself, which means that you wouldn't be able to attract your dream woman and then you had to settle with a worse option for the most important decision of your life, which will be who will be the mother of your future children. Instead, simply focus on improving yourself, ruthlessly making progress towards your goals and your purpose, becoming better with every single day. And in a few months, you will have improved yourself to the point where you can start attracting more attractive women. And in a few months time, you can attract even more attractive women. Say that when you start self-improvement, you can attract a 6 out of 10 woman. In a few months, you'll be able to attract a 7 out of 10. A few months after that, you'll be able to attract an 8 out of 10. By consistently improving yourself, within a very short period of time, you'll be able to attract a 10 out of 10 woman. But that's a reward for working hard on your self-improvement. This is the entire basis for self-improvement, delaying your gratification so you can experience much greater satisfaction and happiness later down the line when you're older. In this case, delaying your nutsing with a lower tier woman so you can nut with your dream woman later on and have children with her instead. So in order to attract your dream woman, who's both beautiful, sexy, little sexual history, intelligent, who comes from a good family with a masculine father and feminine mother still together, with minimal or no red flags, you must improve yourself and become the best version of yourself. Now, if you've learned how to actually attract your dream woman and that is just focusing on yourself, improvement, focusing on becoming the best version of yourself, please like the video and subscribe to join the self-improvement revolution. Thanks for watching and remember that it's your duty to become the greatest version of yourself and you must work on that. You must start it. You must continue to work on it now until you become the best version of yourself.